Hi, welcome to Lanasio videos. My name is Alba and in this tutorial I will show you how to knit the pants of this set. In this case this tutorial is for a 6 months old baby. And remember that you can find other sizes in our website. We need 4 mm yarn, 3.5 mm needles, stitch markers, scissors, a needle and buttons. We start the pants making a slip knot and we have to cast on 48 stitches. Cast on 48 stitches. You can use the way to cast on that you prefer. We cast on 48 stitches. Once we cast on all the stitches, we have to make now 5 rows with the 2 2 rib stitch. We make the elastic stitch making 2 2. What does it mean? We have to knit the first stitch. In this first row, we have to knit the first stitch. And now we are going to make the 2 2 rib stitch. We have to knit 2 stitches and purl the 2 following stitches. Knit again 2 stitches, knit 2 and purl 2. And we repeat knit 2 and purl 2 to the end of this row. Once we finished this row with knit 2 and purl 2, we have to knit the last stitch. And we have to make the rib stitch in 5 rows. We have to take the edge stitch and where we find a purl stitch, we have to purl. Here we have 2 purl stitches, we have to purl both stitches. and continue with knit 2 on the 2 knit stitches and now 2 purl stitch knit 2 and continue making the ripper stitch remember the 2 2 ripper stitches knit 2 and purl 2 to have 5 rows. We have to make the same in the third row. We have to take the edge stitch and where we find knit, we have to knit. So knit 2. And now we have to purl 2. Remember, repeat the rib stitch to have 5 rows. Once we finished the rib stitch, we have to make now 42 rows with the stockinet stitch. Remember the stockinet stitches, we start in this case with a knit row. We have to knit all the stitches of this row. And once we finished the knit stitch row, we have to take the edge stitch and purl this row, purl all the stitches of this row.
This is the way to make the stacking at a stitch. One row with one row with knit stitch and one row with purl stitch. In the row on the wrong side we have to knit the last stitch. We have to continue making the stacking at a stitch to have 42 rows. Remember, take the edge stitch and in this case we have to knit all the stitches of this row. 42 rows of the stacking at a stitch. Once we finished the 42 rows making a stacking at a stitch, you have a piece like that and now we are going to separate the legs, leaving a space in the middle. We have to take the edge stitch and continue working the stacking at a stitch to have to have 19 stitches on the row on the right needle. Once we have 19 stitches we have to bind off 10 stitches. We have to purl one, purl one again and pass the first stitch over the, f the second stitch. We have to bind off 10 stitches, purl one again and pass the first stitch over the second stitch. Repeat the same to have to bind off 10 stitches. We have 19 stitches on the right needle, this space of the bind off stitches, one stitch on the right needle and 18 stitches on the left needle. Now we have to purl all these stitches to finish this row. Here you can see the legs separated. Here you can see the separation space and one leg in one side and one leg on the other side. Now we are going to work first one leg and then we are going to finish the second leg. To make the first leg we have to work on the first 19 stitches. And we are going to make 6 rows with the stacking at the stitch. Remember only working in one leg, 6 rows with the stacking at the stitch. If you want, you can take the, the stitches of the leg that you are not working with a cable needle. In this case, I will leave the, the second leg on the needle and I turn and continue working the first leg. In this case, I have to work the purl row. Take the edge stitch and make the second row. In this case, the purl stitch row. Once we finish the 6 rows with the stacking at the stitch, now we are going to work 6 rows with the rib with a 2-2 two, two rib stitch. Remember we have to take the edge stitch, knit 2 and purl 2 and knit 2, purl 2 to the end of this row. And make remember 6 rows with the rib stitch. Take the edge stitch and where we find purl, we have to purl and when we, ha and when we find knit, we have to knit.
Once we finish the six rows with the rip stitch, we have to bind off all the stitches. Remember how to bind off. We have to make the first stitch. Make the second stitch and pass the first stitch over the second stitch. Make the next stitch and pass the first stitch over the second stitch. We have to bind off all the stitches of the first leg. Once we finished to bind off, we have to cut the yarn. Once we finished the first leg, now we have to continue with the second leg. On the row where we separated the legs, we worked the purl stitch. So now we have to place the yarn, making now the knit stitch. We have to place the yarn on the part of the middle of the pants. We have to knit the first stitch, we don't have to take the edge stitch, we have to knit the first stitch and work the stacking at the stitch for six rows. In this case we start with the knit stitch row and we have to continue with the stacking at the stitch to have six rows. Once we finished the six rows with the stacking at the stitch we have to make the same that we made on the other leg. Now we, now we have to make six rows with the 2-2 two, two rib stitch. We have to make two pieces. We have to make two pieces making the same. Once we have the two pieces finished, we have to sew them together. We have to place the wrong side of one part with the wrong side of the other part and we have to sew the sides. We, we have to take a needle and sew the side. Remember how to sew the sides of the stacking at the stitch. We have to find the knot on the side and take this knot from one side and from the other side. Once we, fi we finish to sew the sides, we also have to sew the, the part of the middle and we finish the pants. Well, that's all. I hope you like it. Remember to give a like, share and subscribe to receive our new videos.